Hey, good evening. How are you? Hope everything's going well. It is uh, Tuesday night. It's Tuesday night at 10.39 p.m. My day went well. Everything went pretty flawless, you know? Just uh, gotta keep the faith that every day will go well, all right? Don't have any doubt. God is sovereign. God is in control. And if you are in Christ, obedient to his word, uh, <laughs> it's gonna go well. It's gonna be incredible. So, uh, We'll see. Sometimes we don't know how we're going to get things done, but uh, we get things done, and it's uh, kind of cool how it gets done. <laughs> we don't know how it's going to get done, but it gets done. It's crazy, and uh, before you know it, it is finished, right? Jesus said that. Very famous. I'm going to read from Joel Osteen's book, The Power of Favor. It is titled, Ask for Rain. All right. Cool. I like sharing to, uh, I like sharing to the God Winkers. I love the God Winkers. Some good people that need um, some prayer. There's people all over the country, all over the world that need prayer and that they understand how powerful prayer is and that God hears our prayers and he puts the angels to work. Um, ask for rain. Well, Joe, God's got bigger things to deal with than me getting a cell phone or finding a good parking spot. Can I tell that you, that you are God's biggest deal? You're the apple of his eye. He wants to show you his goodness. That's what favor is. The prophet Zechariah said, ask for rain in the time of rain. In the scripture, rain represents favor. This seems odd. If it's raining, why do you need to ask for rain? God was saying, just because my favor is available, you're not going to experience it unless you call for it, unless you declare it. You may not be able to see it, but right now it's raining. It's raining healing, it's raining freedom, it's raining promotion, it's raining spouses, <laughs> raining good break, raining abundance. One wife, <laughs> one husband, uh, not Muslim. <laughs> Is that them? I don't know. It's raining healing, freedom, promotion, spouses, good breaks, abundance. God is showering his favor like never before. My challenge is don't let it pass you by. Don't go around just hoping and believing. The way you get in the rain is by declaring favor. Father, thank you that your favor is opening doors. No man can shut. Thank you that your favor is bringing good breaks, advantages, preferential treatment. Lord, thank you that your favor is defeating enemies, turning negative situations around, breaking forces that are trying to stop me. Every time you declare favor, you're asking for the rain. That's what allows God to show out in your life. I have friends whose son's son played on a minor league baseball team. His dream was to make it into the big leagues. He's extremely talented, led the division in hitting for several years, but it seemed as though every time he was about to get promoted to the big leagues, something would come up and he got passed over. His parents told me, again and again how he was leading the league in home runs how he was having a banner year but for some reason he was overlooked they could have been discouraged and thought it's not meant to be but they did what i'm asking you to do they kept declaring the favor of god father thank you that your favor is on our son thinking that your favor is putting him at the right place thank you that your favor is causing him to stand out the team he played for had a star player in the major leagues in his same position. It looked as if the player would be there for years, but one day, unexpectedly, the star player requested a trade and was sent to another team. This young man was suddenly promoted to the big leagues. He went on to live out his dream of playing major league baseball. When you declare God's favor, he will move people out of the way to make room for you. Favor will promote you and suddenly, unexpectedly, to things that you didn't see coming. You may not see how you can accomplish a dream or how you'll get well. It doesn't look as if, as if it's ever going to change. I have good news. It's raining. If you'll do your part and keep declaring God's favor, as with my friend's son, God is going to do something unusual, something that is that you weren't expecting where suddenly you're promoted, suddenly you get well, or suddenly you meet the right person. The power of God. Joel Osteen, ask for rain. Declare favor over your life. Ask for it. 
All right, cool. How you do this, how you go about doing this? Be in a very super close relationship with your heavenly father. He loves you, he loves you, he loves you. Tell him you love him back. Tell him you're thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you too. Thank you for taking care of me today. Giving me everything that I needed. All the right people came into my life. They spoke into my life. All the right things happened. You gave me the knowledge and wisdom that I prayed for the night before. You protected me from evil demonic things. People that could attack me, but they didn't. You had this hedge of protection. So thank him for stuff like that. You can keep it simple. Sometimes I don't know. It's a prayer, so it's not like it um, becomes like ritualistic, the same thing, but... Sometimes I say it flat out, God, I don't know what to pray, but I'm going to pray for the same thing again. Because <laughs> you keep giving it to me anyway every day. I guess it's working. If it if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, if it's working, pray for the same thing. But passionately, and really, prayer, it's faith. Uh, faith that he will do it. I mean, it is according to his will, but he knows the desires of his heart, our hearts, and he really wants to take care of his children. Uh, he really really does what you think you want he knows what you really want and what you really need and it's a hundred times better than what you think that you want it's crazy the rest the peace that you want the excitement that you want the type of uh places you want to go and people you want to meet or cute cats and cute dogs come around or the right video or something you want to hear or something you want to read that you need to he sends all those things. It's pretty amazing. Or the sunrise or the sunset, the perfect sunrise, or just the peace in the morning when the birds are going by or the squirrels are eating their nuts or the birds are feeding in the grass or along the pond. Those things. God is sovereign. God is in control of all. And when we know that, when we totally know that, uh, we can have peace. Cool. It's pretty cool. All right. Uh, stay in the Word of God. Make sure to pray. Pray, be in the Word of God. That is the, uh, the best way to get a relationship with God is through the Word of God. But uh, it's through prayer, being in the body of Christ, um, discipling somebody or being discipled by somebody, being in small groups. But if you're not able to do that, God is absolutely going to use you wherever you're at. Your ministry is right there. All right, wherever you're at. And remember, this one's really cool because it's where two or more are gathered, God is with you. So don't go at stuff totally alone, especially if you're exposed to uh, people that aren't believers. Try to have two people there. A witness is always good. Two is very powerful. All right? Very. Love you all. See you. Bye.